Welcome to Lola Lee Chat. Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel. So Cardi B went live from her hospital bed. She said she's been extremely sick. She has been in hospital since October 19th. She was saying that pranks have gone too far. She has had pizza sent to her home and she thought that was funny. But now CPS was sent to her gated mansion at 11 p.m. as a prank and people are doing way too much. I agree, people are doing way too much to do that to her. She was really, really upset about this and says she's going to get to the bottom of it. And best believe she is going to find out who did it because she's going to hire the best private investigator. She's saying that if CPS does not give up the person's name, she's gonna sue them. She says she's not going to give up until she finds out who is responsible. Fucking headache. So, so I want to make this very fucking clear. I can't even breathe right now. I don't care. Let me tell you something. I know that a, I know that a lot of like two months ago. How people was ordering food from my house to my house. And I found that very funny. And I made a comedy out of it. But y'all motherfuckers have taken shit too fucking far. When you mess with my fucking kids, I swear to you, I'm gonna get to the fucking bottom. Bottom of it. Okay? For you motherfuckers to do a little fucking prank call. What is the CPS, Child Protective Services? For Child Protective Services to come to my fucking house, not my house, my gated mansion at 11 p.m. while my children are sleeping because there's an anonymous call that there's been going on that, that my kids have been getting abused and beaten. Are you fucking dumb? Are you fucking dumb? This is when the pranks start getting too far. When you motherfucking... Oh, when you fucking assholes think that shit is funny. And it's not funny. It's not funny. First of all, me, I'm the only colored person and I'm the only person that is Latin that is black people in my house. Uh, that is in the whole neighborhood, I mean. I'm sorry, I'm fucked up. We are the only colored people in my neighborhood completely. And for motherfuckers to pop up in my house with cops and child protective services because you motherfuckers want to do an anonymous call involving my children? I, I promise you this. I promise you this. I promise you this. I'm going to sue child protective services for fucking coming to my house at whatever the fuck time it comes. And I'm also going to sue the per the person that did this anonymous call. And, I'm, and as soon as I wake up in the morning, I'm calling Drew Finley. Because I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I'm going to hire the best private investigator in the whole fucking country. Because y'all take joking and y'all take shit a little too far. Don't you ever in your fucking life play with my fucking kids. Don't you ever in your fucking life play with my motherhood or with my ex-husband fatherhood. We don't play that shit. My kids live great. My kids have never been touched. Never gotten hit. No matter how annoying they are, I never hit my kids. Every weekend, my kids go to Fly Zone or to the American Dream Mall or shopping or to eat. Um, what my daughter likes to eat, she likes to eat Raymond, whatever. My kids are super spoiled. They go to the best school. My daughter fucking um, school tuition fucking fees is forty five thousand. Wave is thirty five thousand. My newborn baby, her fucking nanny is seven hundred dollars an hour uh, a day. Seven hundred dollars a day. We take very great care of our kids. I spend more money on my kids' bill than I spend money on clothes for myself. And when I, because, oh yeah, Child Protective Services, supposedly they're going to come in the morning. And I cannot wait because my mom is going to curse them out the nasty way. The fucking nasty way. The fucking nasty way. You could play with me, but you can't play with that woman. My mom's going to curse you out. And I swear to God, I'm going to teach motherfuckers a lesson. First, y'all was sending pizzas to my house. Now y'all sending child protective services. And I promise you, I'm going to call Drew Filling in the morning. 
I'm going to call a private investigator. I'm going to hire a private investigator and I'm going to get my aunt's husband, which is a private investigator, to work on who is it. Because if Child Protective Service don't give me this anonymous person, I'm going to find out myself. And you want to know what I'm going to do? I'm not even pressing charges on you. If you're a boy, my baby father is going to beat you the fuck up. If you're a woman, me and Hennessy are going to beat you the fuck up. Because you're playing with my motherfucking kids. Stop playing with my motherfucking kids. Not everything is a fucking joke. Not everything is a fucking prank. That's why I got two securities in my house. One in the front, one in the back. We're fucking loaded up. Just because I know y'all motherfuckers like to play when you have bitches address. But I promise you, I'm going to find out who the fuck you are. And you're going to be on, on your knees begging me for fucking mercy for the fucking prank that you decided to do. Don't bring that shit in my home. I'm the only person of color that lives in my motherfucking neighborhood. And y'all bringing this shit. Y'all bringing cops, mad cop cars, and child protective services to my fucking gate. Are you dumb? You know how great my kid's life is? You know how well behaved my children are? Stop fucking playing. The street's gonna handle it. No, I'm gonna take matters to my hand. Y'all wanna prank call? Y'all wanna do funny shit? Y'all wanna give anonymous tips and involve my kids in it? Now you're gonna you're gonna see you're gonna see the evil side of me. Cause I'm not letting that shit fucking go. I'm going to fucking, I'm going to beat the shit out of you. I'm not calling the cops on you. As soon as I know and retract that phone call, I'm going to beat the shit out of you. If you're a fucking man, my baby father is going to beat the shit out of you. Because you thought it was okay to mess with our fucking kids. Stop fucking playing. And you know how many people help me raise my kids? Huh? You know how spoiled my kids are? You know how innocent my kids are? Sometimes me and, and, and my baby daddy joke around like it's like, damn, we give our kids so much that we wonder sometimes, are they going to be ready for the real world? Because we protect them so much. We protect them so much. I see the difference with culture's cousins that live in the hood and with culture. She's so innocent because she goes to school with like a whole bunch of Asians and white people. In a school that like, they literally hold your hand and protect you. And you motherfuckers even have the fucking nerve to fucking play games with my kids? First offset, I don't know where he at. I don't know where he at, but I had to call him. Because of this shit. And niggas is tight. Why the fuck there's people in my house with mad cop cars from my anonymous call that my kids are being abused? What my kids are sleeping, all three of them. And my house is so fun. So amazing. Every kid that comes to my house, they don't ever want to leave. They don't want to leave. At all. Shit, don't fucking piss me off. And yes, guys, I'm very sick. I've been here since... Today's day. I've been here since the 19th. I'm extremely sick. I hope I, hope I get to leave tomorrow, but I know I'm not. But anyways, I just want you to know, you, you, whoever you are, that decided to fucking prank call and send child protective services to my house, I'm, I got money. I got real fucking money. And I'm going to find you. I'm going to hire a lawyer and I'm going to hire two PIs. If I don't find you, I'm suing child protective services for even having the motherfucking audacity to show up. All right, you guys heard what Cardi B had to say. And, you know, what Cardi B said about her kids is very true and her kids seem to be very very well taken care of and they seem to be you know in good hands and just very happy kids her and offset are great parents as far as cps is concerned i really feel like they were doing their job so i don't really think a lawsuit is going to go anywhere because like i said i think the person was doing their job but i do think that the person that did this is truly weird truly bored and you know what? They went too far. So I really feel like Cardi is going to make an example of that person. So people really got to stop doing this kind of stuff. Definitely let me know your thoughts. And thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.